As the Gold Coast Suns, mm. Man, just get us uh, up to speed with what's going on there, please. Yeah, Bulldogs by six points over the Suns, halfway into the second, but the Suns are having a set shot for goal from about 40 Who's out. Who's shot, Joe? Talk us through it, Joe. He's a very young uh, man, this player, very inexperienced. And, just uh, his name, Joe. I've it? got no idea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll call the result of the uh, the kick. Well, he's uh, starting his approach, uh, Spud. He's 40 metres out directly in front. Oh, he's no. pulled, pulled it to the oh, right, what? and he's put it through for a minor score. So it's the Bulldogs by five points over the Suns halfway yeah, in the second. Yeah, I realise that Chua did some calling last week. Uh, and how'd he go? Very, very crisp. Oh, how good. Had you rate yeah. He called with Howie. Yeah, mind you, he took a fair bit of the call. <laughs> Howie, no, it was Swatter. No, Swatter. Oh, Swatter. He, it was Swatter oh, last sorry, week. Was too. Did you hear him, Howie? Oh, I did. Yeah, what do you think? Well, he's far better than a lot of people I've heard. Oh, I, thought, I actually thought Thanks, he showed a bit. He was a bit jumpy early. He's sure. Doing, yeah. JB, yes. Not getting ahead of where you are <laughs> in the thing? No. Uh, uh, well, to call alongside Dennis Cometti for... No, it was, was, was Swatter, wasn't it? So I was <laughs> filling in Cometti's shoes. Who's calling with? No, I was filling in Dennis's shoes. Well, you and, were, uh, really. I was... Very, very nervous. Mate, the sure. stuff you rolled out on Dead Set Legends this morning, you, you should going. have your own tonight did, show. Actually, Thanks, Alex. Did he mention any of us? No, not in, not in passing, no. Uh, he's done a, he's done a whole saying, interview Gary. and not mentioned his colleagues. He's now got to a point where he's saying, I'm big enough to stand on my own, which is You're interesting. Listen, we've had you all on, and he pretty much intimated at me at the end of the show that he was probably the sharpest we've had of no, all. No, no, there you true. go. Yeah. No, I've heard that true. you're all looking out for a manager. No, Did that's incredible. I think um, <laughs> next week. <laughs> that's incorrect. I've seen some emails. I've seen some emails. False, incorrect. <laughs> well, they're going to come out that next is, week. Oh, no. I sell refrigeration <laughs> air, air conditioning parts during the week. I'm, I'm a manager myself. Did you? So I manage myself. What would the great Dennis Pagan say look if he for a manager? That, was it Media Street, is it? No. Is it? Oh. Are you looking for a just manager? Have a, no, uh, no. He no. reckons you've got evidence. Just had a manager. text from uh, Wayne Swass. Um, <laughs> Oh, pretty disappointed what's... that you didn't <laughs> remember that you were calling for him. Takes he gave you an opportunity to, to call, and you said you were calling with no, Dennis. No, no, I got ahead of myself. Well, apologise there. to Wayne. He's listening. I'm sorry, Swatter. Yeah, because it's tough for Swatter because he's had to go back. <laughs> well, he was no, also stepping up last week. <laughs> Next, and now he's had to go back. If, Den- if the great Dennis Pagan heard that, and this is a man that yes. you were, you did stats for him, true. he'd say you're a refrigeration part salesman <laughs> son from Point Cook. The hell do you think you're doing? Yeah, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, exactly. That's what he's So yeah. you need to remember yeah, that, that, you? I've lost my grassroots, haven't I? I? Think <laughs> hey, um, Gavin's in Main Ridge. How are you, Gav? Good, JB. Uh, the Chief, with his burgers, of in, inhaling the burgers with the wrappers still on them with no teeth marks in them, mate. Can I get to the bottom of that, please? <laughs> Jason Dunstall um, apparently had to leave the studio early last night. Indigestion. What's that? Indigestion, was it? Well, a little bit of indigestion, but half of one of the uh, spicy burgers got stuck in his throat. It wouldn't have got stuck in your teeth, chompers. Oh, he's given you a <laughs> chomper. Given you, he has given you a chompers. So the problem, Spud, with the Chief, yep. was w- w- when your digestion set yep. up for eucalyptus <laughs> and then you have a burger with the wrapper still on yep. it, you just can't digest This is a well, problem. Well, as Gaz said, there was a hu- huge tray of them, wasn't there, Gaz? 20 at least. And Damo had some teeth marks on his little pinky because <laughs> yeah. Chief wasn't grabbing it with his hands. He just put his snout in there. That's it. <laughs> the big silverback. When he gets a hunger, you just want to be in another area because he can take food down, Gav, quicker than anyone I've ever witnessed. Are you there? Hey, JB. Yes, mate. You want to come down to Main Ridge, mate, because I tell you, there's a lot of koalas on the windies there, mate, that I reckon the, uh, the Chief could... Pick up a few eating. Yeah. Uh, no, I on, drove Gav. past a uh, standing up koala on the Red Hill to uh, Mornington Road uh, to that, uh, uh, Flinders Road. Right. Gary, what? up on its haunches, no. a standing up koala. No, no a two legged gypsy. A two legged no gypsy. No side of the road, no Gary, way. standing up what? koala. No. I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> he had his thumb out looking for a no, He was looking at me <laughs> straight his left in the eye. Was sort of <laughs> but he was looking at me. I was in my chariot. I looked off to the right. There was a full blown koala. It's impossible. <laughs> on its back legs, standing up, kangaroo style. No, I'm telling you. Gav well, knows it down there. Don't worry about that yeah, for a second.